In a wild, emotional game that left Colorado's football team reeling, Deion Sanders and his players walked away with more than just a loss. In their 31-28 defeat at the hands of Kansas State, the Buffaloes suffered several setbacks that could significantly impact their season moving forward. Key among these losses was the exit of two-way sensation Travis Hunter, who left the game with a shoulder injury after a hard hit from Kansas State safety Daniel Cobbs. Hunter, a leading Heisman Trophy candidate, did not return to the field, and the severity of his injury remains unclear. In addition to Hunter, star receiver Jimmy Horn Jr. and three other receivers also went down, further weakening the team. Despite these obstacles, Colorado managed to mount a late-game rally, taking a 28-24 lead with just over three minutes left in front of a sold-out crowd at Folsom Field. All they needed was a defensive stand to seal the victory. However, Kansas State quickly responded with two huge plays, including a 50-yard touchdown pass from quarterback Avery Johnson to receiver Jace Brown with 2.14 remaining, flipping the score back in favor of the Wildcats, 31-28. The Buffaloes had one last chance, regaining possession with 2.14 left, but their final drive fell short, with a fourth down pass from quarterback Shador Sanders falling incomplete, sealing their fate. After the game, Shador Sanders summed up the team's disappointment. We made a statement that we lost, he said. A loss is a loss, you can't get that back. Deion Sanders, the team's head coach and father of Shador, acknowledged that the loss of key players, particularly Hunter and Horn, dealt a significant blow. Losing Travis and Jimmy was tremendous because they're a vital part of our team, our identity, Sanders said. That took a lot out of us, but I'm proud of the guys who stepped up in their place. Hunter's absence was particularly noticeable on defense, where Colorado allowed Kansas State to score on three consecutive drives without him in the lineup. This was a game that tested the resilience of the Buffaloes, who had been down 21-7 in the third quarter but fought back valiantly to take the lead. Kansas State coach Chris Kleiman's decision to go for it on fourth down at Colorado's 31-yard line late in the game, rather than attempt a field goal, proved pivotal. His rationale was simple. He feared giving the ball back to Shador Sanders, who he called the best quarterback in the country, with a chance to take the lead. I wasn't going to let that happen, Kleiman said after the game. Instead, Colorado's defense, led by Auburn transfer Colton Hood, made a crucial stop, intercepting a tipped pass. The momentum shifted as Colorado quickly scored, taking the lead. However, their defense faltered again shortly after, leading to Kansas State's winning touchdown. Looking ahead, the loss raises significant questions for the Buffaloes. They are now 4-2 overall and 2-1 in Big 12 play, but injuries to key players could hamper their ability to compete going forward. Next week, they face Arizona, but the big concern remains the health of Hunter and other key players. Sanders is expected to provide an update on Hunter's status in the coming days. Despite the defeat, Sanders remains optimistic about his team's prospects. This team has heart, they have integrity, they're tough, he said. We just came up short. We've got to learn how to win these particular games. While last season saw Colorado start 4-2 only to collapse and finish 4-8, Sanders insists that this year's team is different. Time will tell if they can overcome the adversity they now face but with depth at the receiver position and Shador Sanders continuing to perform at a high level, there's still hope for a strong finish to the season.